Hi guys, this is Lairu here and we got our hands on the new Nova 3 and the Nova 3i. Now, for those of you who don't know, Nova is actually Huawei's mid-range series of phones which they introduced with the Nova 2i last year. Um, so, Nova 3 and the Nova 3i is actually the latest iteration under that series. Um, so yeah, right off the bat, you would notice that both these phones sport a glass back. Uh, one thing though with these glass coverings is phones tend to get a bit fingerprint heavy. Uh, so you, you would notice that both these phones already have quite a bit of fingerprints on them. But then again, this is not really much to complain about because phones nowadays anyway tend to get fingerprints on them whether they have a glass covering or not. So anyways, now you might have you might have noticed the Irish purple color which they actually introduced with the P20 Pro. So even the Nova 3 series comes with this color along with a few others which includes red also apparently. Um, yeah, now getting into the cameras. Uh, both these phones have four cameras on them, four AI powered cameras mind you. We'll get to that in a bit. Uh, but basically they have two, two cameras at the back two cameras in the front um, now the, on the Nova 3 the back camera we have a 24 megapixel monochrome lens and a 16 megapixel RGB lens and on the front we have a 24 megapixel lens and a 2 megapixel lens uh, Nova 3i it's a bit different Nova 3i we have a 16 megapixel lens in the back along with a 2 megapixel lens and on the front just like the Nova 3 we have the 24 megapixel lens and the 2 megapixel lens one thing you would notice about this camera is its AI component. Now what I mean by AI is now with the Nova 3 series what Huawei has done is that each time you try to take a photograph it will identify each of these photograph environments under six different scenarios. So according to these six different scenarios your camera would automatically optimize settings whether it's HDR saturation or whatever. Uh, now we actually did try out a few taking a few photographs right outside the office we are, and we got to see a bit of this uh, in action. Now, this is actually true even in terms of taking selfies. Now, with these phones with the 24 megapixel and the 2 megapixel lenses up in the front cam, it tends to capture much more detail. Of course, it's not just the camera where the AI component is involved. We have other features in the phone that AI takes part as well. Uh, for example, it has the elevator mode where your phone can actually recover the signals faster when you're trying to take a call, you know, basically use your phone inside an elevator. If you've been using Huawei phones, um, you would notice that the UI is a bit different here. That's because the Nova 3 series ships with the latest EMUI version, that's EMUI 8.2. Talking a bit about the internals, now the Nova 3 series ships with their signature Kirin processors and the Nova 3 actually comes with 6 GB of RAM. 128 GB of storage. Now, talking about storage, now both these phones are actually dual SIM phones, but unlike what you've seen with phones like the Y9, you can't actually you know chip in two nano SIMs and a micro SD card as well. It's either one micro SD card and a one SIM, or it's just two nano uh, nano SIMs, uh, which is fine because you get 128 GB of storage, right? Now, if you take a look at the Nova 3i. Most of the features we've seen with the Nova 3 is in the Nova 3i as well, with a few differences. The Nova 3i ships with 4GB of RAM instead of 6GB, uh, but it still does ship with 128GB of storage. And it still has a Kirin processor, but the processor is not as high-end as what you'd see with the Nova 3. So that's pretty much it for our first impressions. Now, both these phones look very promising. Now, and in case you're curious, these phones come with a few colors, one being their signature iris blue or rather iris purple and of course you have standard black, pearl white and the Nova 3i which actually comes in a red color as well. Do stay tuned for our full review. Now both these phones come heavy in terms of AI implementation so there's a lot to be tested here so do stay tuned with us. We'll be publishing our full review pretty soon so that's pretty much it what you have uh, do let us know in the comments below if there's any feature you would like for us to actually you know, talk more about on whether it's a camera or it's a processor or whether you know what's new on this phone pretty much anything so let us know in the comments below so we'll catch you guys on the next one which will be the review